Baiju's exam prep brings to you the second All India Open mock from the 9th to the 18th of September. Go ahead, register now on the Baiju's exam prep app and compete against thousands of aspirants. Shall you? All right. So, hi guys. A very warm welcome, everyone. Hope all of you are doing well. A uh, very good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, people who are uh, seeing me for the first time, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Abhimanyu Raj Prohit. I'm a graduate from one of the most prestigious law schools in the country, that is National Law University of Patiala. I have been uh, teaching, mentoring, guiding, uh, you know, aspirants, preparing for general awareness for the past uh, more than a decade now. And I'm, I'm there to help all of you, uh, to help you ace your respective exams. The questions that we do, the difficulty level that the questions are, again, are at par uh, with the questions that are asked in your exam. So, uh, the student who actually answers all the questions here, right, even if you don't know the answer, don't worry, right, treat these uh, set of questions as your uh, practice material or you can say as your knowledge bank right add these in your notes and uh, treat this as you know a source of information in case you are not aware of the answers so don't worry in case you don't know the answer uh, because i know you know the emphasis that you guys actually <laughs> you know put on general awareness anyways actually hi home welcome buddy bahut bahut swagat aapka hope all of you are doing well quickly share this video with all your friends so that everyone joins us real real soon guys when we are talking about uh, you know preparation for our exam you all know how important mock tests are they are the replica of the main exam needless to say if any one of you hasn't appeared for the mock test guys today is the last date immediately after the session is done right quickly go and give your mock because it is only available till midnight tonight right so make sure if you haven't appeared for the mock right quickly uh, do enroll right but i would register kijega and give the mock immediately chaliye ji swagat hai ji aapka sabhi ka hemant bhai swagat hai ji aapka hi um perfect chat baat hai naam hi perfect hai aapka well done all right guys so let's start with the sports question we all know when we talk about this year right so this is the year where tokyo olympics paralympics commonwealth games and uh, you know the cricket world cup uh, you know all of them uh, will take place and already some of which have already taken place even the asia cricket cup so sports related questions you can definitely expect in your exams let's start with this one name the indian para athlete who has won a gold medal a record three time in J javelin throws now when we're talking about uh, this individual he actually threw the javelin every throw that he did actually created a world record he was able to secure a throw as far as close to 67 meters so you can understand how far this was and this person just has one leg the answer is sumit until sumit until is the correct answer so ye aap zarur yaad rakhiyega thank you perfect good evening to you as well buddy Yes, uh, the correct answer you can see here. His last throw was a foul. Otherwise, 68.55 meter the throw would have been. Any which ways. Chariye. Second question. Which country has become the world's newest republic? Now, this becomes important because this country is part of the Commonwealth. Recently, Commonwealth has been in news because of the Queen's demise. Right? So, what is the answer here? Which country has become the world's newest republic? The answer to the second question is... It is A, it is Barbados. Barbados is the correct answer. Do remember this, right? Chalye. Now, there are there are two kinds of uh, you know, countries when you talk about Commonwealth. One are, uh, you know, which are part of the realms and then there are, uh, you know, countries which are, have their own set of government, right? So, uh, Australia, Canada, uh, you know, New Zealand, PNG, uh, etc. There are lots of countries who are still under the realm. So, uh, the position of Queen and King of uh, UK actually hold super duper importance to this day. Right? So, uh, very important this is. Do expect one question or the other with respect to Commonwealth. Also, guys, one thing you can write down apart from, uh, you know, uh, whatever you have already uh, written with respect to Commonwealth and Queen, that India became a member of the Commonwealth in which year? The answer is 1947. India became a member of the Commonwealth in the year 1947. Do remember this. All right, moving on. India's highest, you can see, altitude herbal park has been inaugurated in which state? Now, we are talking about herbal park, right? Which kind of herbal 
right so you can see the correct answer is c uttarakhand now you can uh, you know make sure i'm sure you are <laughs> you know your thoughts are running wide ye sare kaun sa herbal wali baat ho rahi hai so jo aap soch rahe ho wahi wala herbal hoga right so the answer is c the for the third question do remember this uttarakhand is the correct answer chaliye ji badhte aage fourth question ki taraf which is the first country in the world to manufacture first fossil free steel that is also known as green steel again these are the environment related questions which are frequently asked whenever a question has first written in it samajh jana wo aapke liye bahut zyada important hai whenever a question has first written in it that becomes super duper important for us the correct answer guys for this one fourth question is a sweden so sweden is the first country that has started to use green steel which has nothing to do with fossils all right moving on to the next one fifth question in collaboration with which organization has india launched a platform a tech platform named unite aware for improving the safety and security of the un peacekeepers so what is the answer guys fifth question unite aware what is the answer guys don't be afraid of giving incorrect answers at least uh, you know let's see how good are your uh, you know guesses right try to eliminate options i'm sure you're good at it you already have learned lots of skills uh, you know during your preparation so eliminate the options think which option could be the correct answer the answer here is a that is united nations guys this was quite easy uh, unite aware un you could have guessed this one right try to eliminate options right when we're talking about safety and safe keeping of uh, you know un peacekeepers we know we are whom we are talking about which body will be take care of this particular role chaliye which state government has decided to set up training center for anti terrorist squad commandos ats commandos now again guys you can use uh, you know elimination here the government which will be the closest uh, to the central government would do such initiatives the answer is uttar pradesh uttar pradesh has done this decided to set up a training center for uh, you can see anti terrorist squad commandos in saharanpur deoband known for its islamic seminary uh, you can see here darul uloom deoband right so anti terrorist squad commandos will be there do remember this all right let's move on to the seventh question according to the 2021 worldwide cost of living index uh which city is uh, there at the top the most expensive uh, you can see along with paris which city jointly uh, ranked as second most expensive city of the world second we are talking about we know that the most expensive city is tel aviv right the answer is tel aviv the most expensive city and the second position is shared between singapore and paris the most expensive is tel aviv which country is tel aviv in guys quickly share this with me tel aviv which country this is uh, which city uh, this is uh, the correct answer for the seventh question ac very happy to see your answers om and gorav well done the correct answer is tel aviv here yeah, the most expensive city in the world and this is there in israel right chaliye aur sabse cheapest city the cheapest city in the world do you have any idea the cheapest city very good gorav the cheapest city in the world is damascus damascus now this is in which country damascus is there in syria so do remember damascus is there in syria theek hai chaliye let's move on to the next one eighth the prime minister narendra modi set a target of becoming energy independent by which year now this announcement was there made that after 100 years of india independence jab india apne 100 saal celebrate karegi that is the time that we are targeting that india will not be dependent on energy requirements from any other nation hum energy self sufficient banenge by the year 2047 right those are 47 जब हमारे 100 इयर्स हो जाएंगे इंडिपेंडेंस को वी विल नॉट बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन एनर्जी फ्रॉम एनी अदर नेशन वी विल बी डूइंग दिस ऑल द एनर्जी रिक्वायरमेंट्स विल बी मेट इन इंडिया इटसेल्फ सो दिस इज द टारगेट ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन टू द नाइंथ क्वेश्चन हाय गगनदीप बहुत-बहुत स्वागत है आपका चलिए जी व्हिच स्टेट्स पुलिस हैज लॉन्च्ड कंट्रीज द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड ड्रोन फोरेंसिक लैब एंड रिसर्च सेंटर वेरी गुड गौरव करेक्ट आंसर ये बताइए जरा नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन का क्या है जी सही जवाब कौन सी स्टेट की पुलिस ने पहला ड्रोन फोरेंसिक 
लैब एंड रिसर्च सेंटर बना दिया बी और नो द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी दिस डेज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज केरला सो केरला हैज डन दिस यू कैन सी हियर साइबर डोम इज अ टेक रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट सेंटर व्हिच इज सेट अप बाय व्हिच स्टेट्स पुलिस दिस कैन आल्सो बी आस्क्ड द आंसर इज Kerala police. So these fancy words, the cyber doom, etc. These are the words which attract the you know people who actually set the paper. So definitely expect this in your exam. Chaliye. Let's move on to the next one. The tenth question. Here we go. Which Indian city has been declared as the first water surplus city? Now, when we're talking about this city, this is also the cleanest city in India. Hint is there. I'm sure the answer will will come for sure. The answer to this is the cleanest city. That is, Onsi, jaldi bataiye. Aap mujhe pata hai, mujhe aap logon ko pata hai. It is in the yes, the cleanest city of India, right? The cleanest city of India. So do remember this. The correct answer is in the right. Sab se saaf city. Laga tar ki tene saalon se the saaf, uh, so the cleanest city of India. In the has achieved this feat. More than four times now. Chaliye. All right. The correct answer. Indore. Moving on to the next one. Eleventh. Which airport has been named as the best airport in the world? The best airport in every sense. In how many airstrips does it have? How many facilities does it provide? What are the uh, you know facilities available in the premises? All these categories. How many uh, you know, flights are delayed? How many land? How many people come there? All these. All uh, you know categories included. What is the answer, guys? The correct answer here is C. It is Ahmed International Airport there in Doha, Qatar. Right? This has been ranked as the best airport in the world. The place where the FIFA World Cup will be conducted this year. Do remember, FIFA 2022 World Cup will be there in Qatar. Right? So this is also important for us. Twelfth question. China has set up the goal of becoming carbon neutral by which year? India has also set up this goal, right? That by the year, uh, you know, 2070 will be carbon neutral, right? 2070 is our goal, India's goal, China's goal, Australia's goals. Question can be asked on any such goal. So the answer to this one, China's goal is D. It is 2060. So India's goal is to achieve 40% by the year 2030. Right to achieve 40% carbon neutral, we have to, uh, you know, all the emissions will be in uh, in place, and all the uh, I'm sure uh, you know, you have heard of it as well. By the year 2030, 40% uh, you know will be met, uh, and the target is to achieve 100% by the year 2070. A realistic target we have taken. Let's see how much time does it take. चलिए जी बढ़ते हैं आगे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ All right. So by 2030, China will be committing to bring down carbon neutrality. Uh, you know, and थोड़ा बहुत तो कम हो जाएगा 2030 तक. जैसा इंडिया ने भी किया है कि 40% कम कर देंगे. इंडिया ने कहा 2060 तक, 2060 तक 90% कट कर देंगे हम. और 2070 तक पूरा और carbon neutral हो जाएंगे हम. Right? Zero carbon emissions. With which country's navy India conducted its bilateral naval exercises? You all know why bilateral naval exercises are conducted. ठीक है अब यहाँ पे जायद तलवार नाम से ये एक्सरसाइज है अभी हमारे रिलेशन सबसे बेहतरीन जो है इनमें से कौन सी कंट्री के साथ है द आंसर इज यू ए लास्ट क्लास ऑल्सो भी डिस्कस कि आई 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 यू यू का पार्ट है यूरोप इंडिया और यू ए सो यू ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर जायद तलवार ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एक्सरसाइज इज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन इंडियन नेवी And the UAE Navy, right? Both these countries together conduct this bilateral exercise. This was conducted on of the coast of Abu Dhabi. Well done, uh, Guru Prasad. Very good, buddy. Good job. Well done. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Fourteenth question. India stood at what position in the medals tally when we talk about Tokyo Olympics 2020? Now you'd be wondering, sir, 2020 में थोड़ी बात है. Tokyo Olympics तो बाद में हुआ है. 2021 में हुआ है. But it will still be known as 2020 uh, because obviously logistical reasons were there. अगर वो सारे के सारे जितने भी banners उन्होंने print कराए थे, जितने भी medals में वो उन्होंने stamp छप छापे हुए थे कि भाई 2020 लिखा हुआ है, सबको change करना पड़ता, 2021 करना पड़ता. तो इसलिए उन्होंने official name change नहीं किया. The official name still is Tokyo Olympics 2020 only. Right, so do remember this. It official name remains 2020. By the way, India's position was C, which was 48th. 
right uh, one of the you can say uh, you know proudest moment for all of us was when neera chopra won us gold right there were in total seven medals that we were able to achieve right us was uh, there at number 1 overall uh, medal tally india's position 48 chali next question 15 the uh, japanese town tokyo has handed over the flame of uh, you know of uh, hope to which city that will host olympic games in 2024 ab simple sa sawal ye hai 2024 mein olympic kahan ho rahe hain right ab yahan pe aapko pata hai olympic flame jo hai mashal jo hai wo har city se city travel bhi jati hai kisko pass on kiya hai the answer for the 15th question is b it is paris paris is the correct answer do remember this i am sure aap logo ko ye pata hoga chaliye ji short b is the correct answer the flame of hope is lit during uh, you can see the traditional ceremony in athens aur wahan se jo hai lagatar chalti jati hai relay chalta hai and all uh, you know everyone who comes matlab jo bhi olympic association jisko bhi decide karta hai respective wo decide karte hain ki kisi ko bulana chahiye wo bulate hain aur wo sare ke sare log jo hai mashal leke thoda sa daudte hain who has been reappointed as the chairperson of national commission for women now this is a question which can definitely be asked a five star question this is very good gaurav pichle question ka sahi jawab is question ka kya hai jawab the answer is rekha sharma rekha sharma has been reappointed as the chairperson of national commission for women right so do remember this rekha sharma chairperson of national commission for women right rekha sharma i'm pretty sure you'll remember this now Which country? अब ये तो अभी थोड़ी देर पहले ही किया ना discuss. ये तो बता दोगे अब आप फटाक से देखते हैं कितने लोग attention दे रहे हैं. Which country has topped the medal tally in the Tokyo Olympic Games? I I actually stated the same. मैंने ये बोला था. देखते हैं कि कितनों को सुनाई दिया. कौन कौन मुझे mute पे देख रहे हैं और कौन मुझे live सुन रहे हैं. ये पता चल जाएगा कि how many of you are watching me on mute and how many of you are watching me live <laughs> with audios on. I'll find out right now. What is the answer? Which country has topped the medal tally? Quickly, everyone has to answer mandatory. This is. अरे यार ये तो मतलब अगर मैं fifth या sixth के बच्चों के सामने भी बोल दूँगा अगर answer दो तो सभी बता पाएंगे. बेटा कौन सी question क्या है? Question है medal tally सबसे ज़्यादा medals कौन लेकर आया? Very good अर्जीत. Yes, the answer is USA. अर्जीत के अलावा सारे के सारे mute पे देख रहे हैं. कमाल कर रहे हो यार. इतना इससे आसान क्या हो सकता है व्हाट कैन बी यू नो इजियर देन दिस मेक श्योर व्हेन आई एम हियर यू टेक एज मच इंफॉर्मेशन एज यू कैन राइट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर आंसरिंग ऑल द क्वेश्चंस दैट आई एम आंसरिंग दैट आई एम आस्किंग इफ यू आर नॉट आंसरिंग दोस क्वेश्चंस राइट आई विल जस्ट कम एंड आई जस्ट टेल यू द आंसर्स और रादर आई विल सेंड अ वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग and you can play it and you can watch the same right make sure the sessions are interactive that way you will be remembering things right abhi itna aasan sawal puch raha hu jiska answer maine do question pehle diya tha agar ye nahi aata to woh dikkat hai dosto chaliye i have high expectations from you of course right uh, people who are preparing for undergraduate exams uh, they are you know having all these informations on their tips i am sure the emphasis that you guys uh, have on uh, you know on your exam i'm sure if you're preparing for zat if you're preparing for iaft if you're preparing for all these exams uh, you know the importance of general awareness right mai manta hu ki bhai chali cat mein aata but fir bhi right when you will go to your interviews etc they can ask you any question you have to be prepared right basic current affairs are important for every individual be it you be it me anyone right so uh, don't think ki mai hame zarurat nahi padegi zarurat padegi sabhi ko padegi kahan kab padegi that is a different issue altogether राइट चलिए अमित वेलडन विदीप वेलडन यस सरजीत कुलश्रेष्ठ यस द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी यूएसए चलिए ऑल राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन रवि कुमार दहिया इज एसोसिएटेड विद व्हिच स्पोर्ट ही आल्सो सिक्योर्ड अ सिल्वर मेडल इन द टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स 2020 18th क्वेश्चन गाइस हियर वी गो द करेक्ट आंसर टू द 18th क्वेश्चन इज इट इज ए इट इज रेसलिंग राइट सो रवि कुमार दहिया you can see is associated with the sport of wrestling so ye aap likh sakte hain fatafat se ye to pata hi hoga aap sabko kafi famous uh, sportsman hai india ke chaliye moving on which sport has been or this is the apex award in sports right there is no higher award in sports than this 
What is the correct answer here? Which sport award has been renamed as Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award? Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award is the prestigious, most prestigious sport award that an athlete or a sportsman can think of. The answer to the 19th question is B. It is Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award has been renamed as Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award. ये आपको याद रखना दोस्तों 19th question the correct answer is B right so B is the correct answer very important this is next India's first medical city in Rani city is to come up in which city now this is a huge 300 acre land has been procured by the Maharashtra government the Maharashtra government is doing its best uh, to very good I am very happy seeing correct answers Amit Vidip well done B is absolutely correct. So, Pune is the correct answer. So, near Pune, there is a place, Khed Taluka. So, Vahape, ye develop kar rahe they are developing this 300 acres of land. They have procured 10,000 to 15,000 bedded or, you know, hospital. This will be, it will be a multi-specialty uh, hospital where you will be treated for all your uh, illnesses. So, a good, uh, you can say, uh, initiative by the Maharashtra government. This was inaugurated by the previous uh, chief minister of Maharashtra, right? So, jaliye ye yaad rakhiye ga. All right. So, let's move on. Ten thousand crores were uh, used for this one. Very good, Arjit. Well done. But B is absolutely correct. Twenty-first. Uh, the book titled "My Life in Full: a Work, Family, and Our Future" is a memoir of which business woman? My life in full: work, family, and our future. Who are we talking about? Which business woman? The answer is A, the CEO of PepsiCo. The CEO of PepsiCo, Indra Nui, is the correct answer. Books and authors are a hit in terms of questions which are asked at the exams. Chaliji, the correct answer was A, yeah, it was A, yeah, Indra Nui. Chaliji, koi baat nahi. A is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next one. Who has been appointed as the global brand ambassador of MasterCard? Uh, this is uh, a person who has been ranked number one uh, in you know chess rankings of the world FID rankings number one position this person has uh, you know hold for the longest amount of time we are talking about B Magnus Carlsen recently uh, R Pragnanda right an Indian teenager was able to defeat uh, Magnus Carlsen twice so do remember this. The correct answer, as Amit is saying, absolutely correct. Well done, buddy. Good job. Uh, the answer is B. It is Magnus Carlson. Chaliye ji, yaad rakhega. I know you all love for Sachin, guys. Okay. <laughs> Sabhi ne Sachin bola. The correct answer is Magnus Carlson. All right. Twenty-third question. Which state has topped the larger states? In the FSSAI, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India's third state food safety index rankings to measure performance of states across five parameters of food safety. Food safety may subset topic on the state raha. Which state was there at the top? The correct answer for the 23rd question is uh, uh, D. It is Gujarat. Gujarat is the correct answer for the 23rd question. Uh, do remember this. Yes, the correct answer is Gujarat. Chaliji, moving on. Uh, which country became the ninth member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization? When we talk about SCO, it had eight members and it had eight permanent members and then it had some uh, you know, members who were uh, just observing, right? So, observatory members, you can say. Uh, Iran is the, uh, is, was such a member, was just observing and now it has actually achieved the full uh, membership status. Iran has also said that we BRICS ki membership. Chahiye. Iran has also recently requested that we want BRICS membership as well, right? So, BRICS membership ke liye bhi Iran is trying, right? It is pending, right? Right now, it is pending, it is approval. Nahi mila hai isko, okay? Isko abhi approval nahi mila hai BRICS ki membership ke liye. Ye bhi yaad rakhiyega. Chaliye ji, badte aage. Ye dekhiye, full members kaun kaun hai SCO ke. To yahaan pe aap dekh sakte ho. China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Pakistan, India, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. Recently only uh, the SCO meet happened where uh, you all know Prime Minister of India uh, was also uh, 
you know, uh, Prime Minister of India also went and had uh, talks with all the member countries. Shanghai Cooperation Organization's headquarter is there in Beijing, China. So do remember this as well. Amidst the tensions that is going on between India and China, uh, this meet was actually, uh, you know, raising lots of eyebrows and